All right, guys, this is May of 2018. This is how I get uh, Cody and um, a build on here along with Mobdro. So what we're gonna do is, as soon as you turn it on, connect it to the internet. If you don't know how to connect to the internet, as soon as you turn on, this thing will be black. You're gonna go all the way over here to settings, go to network, put in your uh, Wi-Fi, and then it'll come to that first screen we were just at. Then you'll go back to settings, once you're connected to the internet, go over to device. Once you click on device, you'll go to developer options. On here, you're gonna make sure ADB bugging is on and apps from unknown sources is also on. Once both of those are on, we'll go back. Just right there where it says home. You're gonna go over one left right up here. I'm on home right now. We're gonna go to that search. And you're going to type in download. And I'm, I've only typed in down and I can already tell it says download or app right here. That's the one I want to go to is download or app. Click on download or app. And that's it right there, that orange one. You're going to click on that. Right there where it says get you're gonna click on that and it should download pretty quick all right we're gonna go ahead and press open press ok you're gonna go right here where you type it in you're gonna type in Cody Sorry, I'm trying to hold the phone and do it at the same time. Cody dot TV and then a forward slash like that. I'll zoom in just a minute. Cody dot TV forward slash. Once you do that, you'll go down here to the bottom where it says go. Click go. This is gonna say just press OK. It's gonna give you this little red circle. You're just gonna scroll down, click on this little Android guy. This next page is gonna pop up. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna scroll down. You're gonna click on this little Android dude. It's gonna bring you to this screen. You're gonna you're gonna click on this one, the ARM V7A 32 bit. Once you click on there, it's going to tell you how big the file download is, 86.8 megabytes. Um, it's da it usually downloads pretty quick. If it takes a minute, I might just wait. It says connection lost. Let me try it again. My Wi-Fi has been acting a little crazy today, so. And I might speed this part up. That's all we're doing. We're just waiting for the file to download. And in this video, I'll be showing you to download Kodi, what build I use, because it's simple. Um, there's some really cool ones out there with like Batman and all this stuff on them, but this is just a simple one. And then uh, to download Mobdro, which you're gonna go in here, which technically I can probably show you how to download that first. Cause that one's a lot quicker. But you need that downloader app for both of those. My internet's not the fastest, so yours might be quicker than this. If it is, just wait on me. So this is May 2018. Um, I usually use Aries Wizard, but we really don't have it anymore. So I'm gonna use this one I came across called Dr. Geeky. But um, 
it works right now so that's the one i go for and if it ever asks you to update just delay the update don't update or you're gonna start over and have to do this all over again to whichever one it's updated to that'll pop up you're gonna scroll down to the bottom press install So just be patient if your internet's faster um, this will probably download a lot quicker mine's not the, the fastest here but it's I mean it still didn't take real long um, I'm not gonna open it yet I'm just gonna press done for right now on here I'm gonna press done I'm gonna go back go back home where it says Cody I'm gonna erase it. So we gotta put in the H T T P semicolon forward slash forward slash. And once you type that in, it's just M O B D R O. And you can put um I can't remember I just put dot com uh, you can put something else like dot net or whatever and it'll still take you to the same thing but m o b d r o dot com and then go down to go it's gonna bring you to this see m o b d r o dot t o is the other one you can go to and then you're just gonna scroll right down there to where it says download app click on it like I said, that mobdro.to is going to take you here. Mobdro.com is going to take you here. It's going to take you to the same site. And uh, it's not a big file. It's only 34.8 megabytes. Um, so it should download pretty quick. I've seen some people's where it just takes longer. Not really sure why. Um, but just a heads up. If it does take you a minute, I mean, just be patient. But this one is going to be like your TV streaming TV channels. Um, you can watch TV shows and movies on Kodi just fine. But uh, I have, I've never had a lot of good luck with like streaming television. Um, so I download this one called Mobdro and I just like it a lot better. Seems like on Kodi it just lags horribly or it's buffering when I try to watch TV. You're going to scroll down the bottom, press install. This is kind of a longer video, but I just wanted to give you an idea of kind of the exact time it takes to do this. It doesn't take long. And like I said, this one's pretty simple in my opinion. Go ahead and open it for right now. This is Mob Dro. Just press agree, and then right here, right off the bat, um, you can go to sports or whatever. Um, I always just go to channels. And for example, there's ABC, TNT, CBS, and all you do is click on one. Made with only three ingredients. Leaves no harsh chemical residue. Take you in there. Just like you're watching TV. Um, pretty nice though. Like I said, you can always go to these, uh, make it quicker, go to sports and find sports channels easier, music, gaming, whatever you want. Um, but I like Mob Drill. Alright, so now we're home. And if you don't see Cody or Mob Drill on here, all you gotta do is go to your apps and games. And press see all and more than likely mob Dro or Cody is gonna be like at the very bottom um, right here mob Dro looks like that Cody looks like this mob Dro is already downloaded it's ready to go you can watch TV um, so to get it up there on the front you're just gonna click on it one time and it'll go to recent 
But right now we're gonna go into Cody. Then up here at the top, you're gonna click on this little settings icon. Looks like a little gear. You're gonna go over to system settings. You're gonna go to add-ons. And right here where it says show notifications, turn it on, unknown sources, press yes. So over here, you just wanna make sure that the little white circle is on the right hand side. Once you do that, you're just gonna press on your remote, the back button. You're gonna go right here to file manager. You're gonna go down to add source. You're gonna click on none and you're gonna type this in. All right guys, so right here you're gonna type in, whoops, it's gonna be your H T T P, sorry, semicolon forward slash forward slash. Then you're gonna type in wizard. dot doctor geeky dot com let's get a little closer for you ht P semicolon four slash four wizard dot doctor geeky dot com. Once that's done, you'll go over here and press OK. And then you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna name it. I always put like dot and then whatever you wanna do, just eight 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 or something. Something simple that you'll remember. And press OK. Now you go back, press the back button out. Right here, you're gonna go to add-ons. You're gonna click on the little box at the top. You're gonna go to install from zip file. You're gonna find the one you did. And then this wizard dash Dr. Geeky zip. You'll click on that. Just give it a minute. When it finishes, it'll pop up in the right corner because we turned on the allow notifications and it'll pop up in the right corner just letting us know. See, Dr. Wiki add-on installed. And it just jumps into it just like that. The Dr. Geeky starts popping up and then right here it says drgeeky.com wizard. You can press ignore or you can do build menu. Go ahead and click on build menu. You can just press continue on that. We're in the build menu, so we're good. Okay, now on this, you can pick whatever you want. All these are different. Um, and you can just go in here and try one. You absolutely hate it, delete it, and do it again. I always do it very simple. Um, so like this simple build, light fire stick, simple fix, simple fix kids. Um, so I usually go for this simple build one or this one. Basically the same thing, but I'm gonna go with the 17.6 simple build light fire stick. Sometimes when you get the ones that have a bunch of uh, other stuff, I mean, I just wanna get and watch my movies quick. I wanna do everything as fast as possible. We'll click on fresh install. Right here, just press continue. That one loaded pretty quick. Sometimes it might take a minute. Uh, just be patient. Like right here, this one's probably gonna take a minute. Um, it'll show you like ETA, showing me only two minutes right now, but usually they're around like four or five. I might, um, I might speed this up. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'll probably speed this up. But like I said, this is May 2018, this one does work. I'll play a movie and show you. Uh, but this is just the easiest way, in my opinion, to do it. Um, there's a whole bunch of different wizards out there. Mary's wizard was the best, but they kind of got rid of it. 
Um, and a whole bunch of these little wizards like this drgeeky.com popped up. Um, other ones. So this isn't the only way to do it. This is just the easiest way that I've found so far. Uh, so if anything, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and as soon as it's done downloading. After it finished downloading, it'll ask you, do you want to force restart? And you say yes. And then it'll take you to the home screen. Just click on Cody. It should pop up here. This is the Dr. Geeky Wizard uh, simple build. And you can just go through their kid zones, TV shows, movies. Um, it'll ask you later on if you want to update. Just say delay update. Um, that way you don't have to worry about it. But other than that, guys, that's it. Um, all you gotta do is click on like in theaters. Um, to watch a movie it should pop up some movies um, that are in theaters right now and you can click on one um, if you have a really good um, connection I would still say to try to watch the 720p uh, movies don't watch the uh, 1080p it's just gonna take a lot more um, power and it's gonna be buffering all the time so if you can, just stick with the 720 or below. Um, I've done a couple 1080p movies and it's been fine, but I've done some where it's just buffered forever, so it drives me crazy. But um, other than that, guys, that's it. At the bottom right here, it says it's working. It should pop up here in a second, just like that. Um, Deadpool 2, Avengers, Infinity War, Kissing Booth, movies like that, and just click it. I'll give you an example. You click on it. I'm gonna do this Avengers Affinity War. I'm kind of explain what I'm talking about. The bottom right corner, it's gonna say working. If you don't see that, then just click it again. And this should bring us up uh, a few sources. And this is like right here, right there, saying 4K 0, 1080p 0, 720, there's two SD10. Um, so when this pops up, there might not even be any 1080p movies to choose from. They might all be 720, but I would just stay in the 720 range unless, like I said, your internet router is right next to the TV and you just have blazing speed or it's just going to be buffering a lot. Let it load up and then I'll give you a little better idea of what I'm, what I'm saying. All right, like that first one, you see 720p, 720p on the far right, right here. 720, 720, 720. Um, the, usually it says like 1080p, stay away from the 1080p ones. All these other ones are just gonna be standard definition. If it's a cam, it'll say cam next to it. All you gotta do is click on one, try it, and see it. If you don't like it, go to the next one. Other than that guys, that's it. You got any questions or anything like that, please leave a comment. Uh, but this is working. Today is May the 21st, 2018. Thank you for watching.